guess I'll call this meeting to order. Um, start with Ann Fair, <laughs> not here. Uh, Steve Bouch. Here. Mike Fay. Here. Alderman Chris Guzikowski is not present. Heather Ryan. Here. Adam Thiel, not present. Nicole Druckery, not present. And I am Leah Schreiber Johnson, and I am here. Uh, and also, then, uh, for the record. Sorry. Oh, go, go ahead. ahead, Leah. As I say, we also have um, Mr. Johnson in the room and Mayor Bukavich. And I'm not sure who, if. That's all we have no, for this evening. Okay. Okay. Yep. All right, so um, we can't even go and improve min minutes either. Um, so we don't have a quorum this evening um, due to a couple um, unexpected absences. So, um, but we do, we do have the mayor with us this evening to talk about a proposal. Um, and so, although we can't make this an action item this evening, um, we definitely wanna hear more about it and then we'll bring it forward at the next meeting um, for approval. Would you like to start us off? Uh, yes, uh, appreciate the time. Um, again, I think you guys all know me, Mayor Dan Vukavich. Um, I brought this proposal forward and it concerns the walking trails at Lake Vista Park. Uh, as you're aware, Lake Vista Park's our newest park. Uh, it's been around about five years or so. Um, before that, you know the history of it, it was a brownfield redevelopment. Uh, we got into what was called a VPLA uh, to basically rehab it and turn it into useful park space that we could open up to the public. Um, this really took a long, long time, probably about 10 to 15 years uh, to bring all the parties together, whether it was the EPA, the DNR, uh, the city, uh, all the property owners, the city get control of it. And then of course, uh, to bring it together and help design it and the whole thing. Um, it's been nothing but successful and probably the person most responsible for making this happen in this time period was our former city attorney, Larry Haskins. Um, I, I'm sure you've met Larry in the past or seen him. Uh, Larry served 20 plus years as our city attorney uh, he's always had Oak Creek in its best interest. He's been a lifelong Oak Creek resident. Uh, matter of fact, he worked at the old Peter Cooper plant down there when he was in high school. Uh, anyways, Larry retired as a city attorney. He also served as our municipal judge for quite a bit. Um, so his fingerprints are kind of all over it. Um, typically in Oak Creek, we do not name parks after people. Uh, which was evident at Emerald Preserve. You guys remember that. Uh, it was brought up to name and after Dale Richards. And the compromise became, let's name the trails after Mayor Dale Richards, which was completely appropriate from my point of view. Uh, and what I'm proposing is that the walking trails down at Lake Vista uh, officially get named the Larry Haskins walking trails, hiking trails, much like we did for Mayor Dale Richards at Emerald Preserve. Um, I think it would be a great honor for him. Um, I think it would show some gratitude for all he's done for the city. Um, and again, he's played such a huge part in it. And he's, you know, unlike a politician or somebody like that, he's never in the spotlight. He's always in the background. But these are the people that really get the job done for us. So I was hoping to get a, a recommendation uh, so we could take it to council. Uh, have a, a ceremony down there, uh, unveiling of the sign. You know, basically, uh, DPW creates a sign and we officially have a ceremony there. Uh, we'd invite back, you know, former mayors, Dale Richards, Scafidi, um, of course, Park and Rec Chair, uh, Park Department heads, anybody uh, that wants to say a few words. And, and take it from there, but I, I think it's completely appropriate. So uh, I'll stop talking and any questions or discussion, uh, please speak up. Is 
I, I think it's a great idea. I think it'd be a great honor for him. He's done a lot for the city and uh, I'm all in favor of it. Great, thank you. How would, I'm wondering like, how would this be recognized on the trails? Like would there, where would, would there be some signage or how would it be acknowledged? Uh, very much like, like we did at Emerald Preserve uh, at the entrance of the park. There's the Emerald Preserve Park and underneath it is a smaller sign saying Dale Richards Trails. It would very much be the same way. Um, I guess, you know, we'd get the input from Lori uh, planning staff as how to best recognize that. Uh, if we wanted to do a, a plaque of some sort as well, uh, recognizing his years of service, similar to uh, Janet Fugel's plaque on the stone, uh, we could we could go that far too. Yeah, I think those are all really good uh, viable options to explore doing, you know, a small monument or small, you know, some placard or um, some type of furniture also to, you know, honor his name. And those are all things that we could explore doing uh, once we bring this to, to Common Council. Yes. Um, and again, yeah, I, you know, I think it's appropriate we could do anything we needed at, you know, at the entrance of those trails. I believe there's only one entrance way into the trails, although I'm not an expert on the trails down there. So if there's two ways in, there'd be two signs, but I think much like Emerald Preserve, there's one way in. And I'm, I'm sure Ted can speak of this, but doing signage through our DPW is relatively inexpensive, um, but we do want something that can honor them and be shiny and um, visible from the trails, so. We would probably want to make a, uh, uh, a similar wooden type sign that similar to the Lake Vista sign. I mean, not looking just like Lake Vista, but in the same type of material and stuff like that. So, so we have some kind of continuity. I think it's a great idea. Uh, Larry uh, worked very hard on this. Mm -hmm. and in my opinion, if it wasn't well, uh, I'm not just going to say Larry, but if it wasn't for people like Larry, we wouldn't have like this stuff. You're correct. He's a very humble person as well. Uh, I think it would mean a great deal to him. Uh, me personally, I can't think of anybody more deserving that's made a difference and is still making a difference down there working on our behalf. Okay. Any other comments? Great, Dan. Uh, thank you. My only question. Oh. oh, Leah. The only question that I had, and it's really neither here nor there. This all sounds great. Is more just like I was thinking about what do we consider the entrance to those trails? Because the there's the there's sort of a multiple entrance point by the woods, and then there's also some trails that come down from the parking lot. So in my mind, like from what I can think about how the Lake Vista trails work out, there's actually like lots of entryways to get down to the, the primary path that sort of zigzags down mm -hmm. towards the water. So I'm just trying to, I'm just wondering like, Dan, when you say the entrance to the trails, I mean, there's so many good options and I don't think any one of them is right or wrong. I'm just wondering, like, I could imagine like a nice stone type situation it you know set near the woods so that it sort of like follows the landscape of the that wooded area a little bit um or something more podium like that's like over by the parking lot that's a little more of like a you are now entering the trails type of sign you know there's lots of different ways we might approach it and none of that needs to be figured out right now i was just thinking yeah and you know only i really didn't go that far i kind of envisioned uh, the same type of signage they had at, at Emerald Preserve. Uh, you know, I mean, there's a Lake Vista sign, I believe, at the entrance, even if a smaller one hung there and then more of a monument type thing at the start of the trails. Um, you know, that, that's something as a group uh, we collaborate on along with DPW and figure out best options. And well, you'll need to, well, you'll need to know that location when you go to council with this or when this goes to council will you need no location or just uh 
um, that you're going to do the sign? You know, probably a depiction would be great, but um, I, I, I don't think we're going to get a lot of pushback from, from the council at all. Um, I'm sure they'd kind of want to know where it's being paid from, uh, which is a question whether it's coming from park fees or, you know, we pull it out of general funds or something like that. Uh, I don't think the cost is going to be overwhelming. Uh, I know I have the support of, of Andrew Vickers, city administrator. So um, it's, it's a pretty good question. Um, probably the location would be key if we knew the location. And, and again, you know, we could, we could really talk to Ted and, and Jeff Wendt, you know, who probably knows that park like the back of their hands as well. <laughs> All right. Well, um, thank you so much, Mayor, for coming and speaking to us about this. And um, we will table the discussion um, and then bring it back at the next meeting, um, which will be May, I want to say May 11th. I apologize. I think I have it actually written right here. May 13th. I apologize. So I'll, we'll bring it back up again during that meeting. Okay, will do. I will sign off. Uh, everybody have a good weekend. Be safe. Thank you. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Okay. okay. Uh, moving to the informational staff report. All right. So um, this meeting is a little short and sweet for you guys, but um, I did want to provide a couple updates on some projects. Probably one of the most exciting ones for, for Ted and I right now is at Abenstein Skate Park. Uh, went out to bid. Um, we're expecting to award it on the 16th. So far, the um, the cost that have come in so far have been uh, mostly under budget. Um, so it, it's looking good. Um, so Common Council will award that bid on the 16th. Um, and we'd like to have the contracts awarded by March 27th um, with the anticipated completion date of uh, June 30th. So Boom, boom, Great. boom, boom. We're going to get this done. Um, and DPW should start closing off the skate park in April, um, mostly early April to start doing demolition. Um, we're just going to save some costs and have DPW do that portion of it. Um, but then in July, I'm already starting to work with our tourism, um, head of tourism, Laura Nelson, who's new to us, um, to start planning a grand opening event. Um, I, don't know really, really what the details are going to be like um, since we're just starting to work on it. I'd love to hear your ideas. Um, so please feel free to send some in. Um, and of course, we, we want our Parks Commission members there and, you know, pumped and ready to spread the word. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited about it. I can't believe we're finally, we're finally, you know, breaking ground. I feel like we've been talking about this the full two years that I've been here. So what was the um, budgeted number again? Um, so it was what we have left is a little under 250. 250. Is that, is that right, Ted? Uh, it's actually a little over 250. Yeah. Um, we we have currently about 266 in the budget, um, and we're going to come in. Although Lori says we're under budget, uh, just barely. I mean, uh, yeah. Uh, we actually were able to. Um, you know, possibly get all of our alternates and and with the construction administration fee, we're going to be right at about budget. Yeah. Good. So that's really that's great, though, with all the all that all those extra things or yeah. is that what you mean by the alternates? Yeah, those extra pieces that were like the maybe pieces. So the uh, the taco, which is one of our favorite pieces so that was one of the alternates um but yeah we have three alternates that all with them all together came in just a little under budget and then as ted said with management costs and stuff it puts us right there so um it's a big relief right. yeah all Again, right thing about the timing of that i was going to share too is that july is national park and rec month oh, so perfect. if it's opening up in, in the park, it's a really great time to kind of um, promote mm -hmm. it. And we are working with the consultant still, New Line Skate Park, and he is offering to send us some freebies um, to do as giveaways. 
Um, and so he is still actively involved in some of the planning we're doing for the event, um, just giving us an idea of some things that other communities have done to open up their skate parks. Uh, and I know I'm going to be tapping some of the local sources I know of that we've worked with in the past to um, get involved and bring the hype. So, so it should be, be good. fun. Yeah. All right. So uh, any other questions about the skate park? I do not. Oh, okay. So uh, a little doom and gloom, uh, Ryan Road, the neighborhood park project. Um, we are still having monthly meetings with Milwaukee County Parks, um, but unfortunately we are at a standstill. I did um, briefly discuss this um, just in an email um, providing an update a few months ago for you guys. And things are still, for the most part, at a standstill. Um, we're just exploring options on how to um, help English Air Subdivisions still is struggling a little bit with some drainage issues. Um, and unfortunately those drainage issues involve the space that we were hoping to use for this park. Um, so we're just trying to look for some solutions right now with Milwaukee County. Um, and when I have more word on uh, what those solutions are and whether or not they get approved, I'll make sure to pass that, that along to you. Um, but unfortunately, this holdup has prevented us from doing any public involvement because we don't know what amount of space that we have available to work with. And we also don't know if this is going to impact our budget in any way. Um, so we're just, you know, cautiously waiting. Um, we also don't want to keep getting the neighborhood's hopes up only to find out that, you know, things maybe not, you know, what we're really hoping it to be. So um, not, not good news on that one. Um, Orchard Hills Micro Park is the next project that we've been working on. Um, as you guys are sure aware that the pandemic really has changed the way we do public outreach. We normally go out and knock on doors, um, really do a lot of face-to-face -face meetings and we can't do that right now. Um, so I've been working with our IT staff and we're looking at doing um, just an alternative solution to do some public outreach using Zoom. Zoom does offer the ability to do voting. Um, so so I've been trying to put together a, a visual preference survey. So basically to give them idea of, of certain things that could possibly go into this park and allow people to participate that way safely from their home um, and allow them to vote. Um, so I'm really hoping to have that all ready to go next month. Um, the next one is another exciting project for Abenshine. We're gonna just start ticking away the boxes for that Abenshine master plan and um, unfortunately, the mayor just left, but the mayor and the city um, administrator, Andrew Vickers, will be working on getting the Abenshine Beer Garden and parking lot expansion project started. Um, they're already starting to talk to some peer groups um, about where their successes lie and where the things that they really wish that they could do better. Um, and we are also working with our city engineering staff to start developing a plan to address the parking capacity, um, which is definitely a main component of this project. It has to be done. Um, so they are working on that. I hope to have more information for, for us at the next meeting. Um, the next one is the baseball field improvement proposal. Staff is still looking at um, discussing field maintenance. Staffing issue is one of our biggest issues. Um, there's a couple months where we just don't have the staff right now to help out with it. Um, and we're also looking for an alternative location that can support the competitive play. I do have an uh, idea in mind. I just am trying to get staff support and other people to support the idea. So um, I'm gonna keep plugging along at that. Uh, recre Recreation department restructuring, um, it's still in progress and that's really all I can, all I can share, that's all I know. Um, parks and open space plan in progress. Um, still hoping to get all that done this next month. So that was essentially all that we have for this um, staff report. Our next meeting date is scheduled for May 13th. Um, and then at this meeting, we're going to be doing voting um, for the next year already. It feels like it's gone by so fast. Um, and we're also going to try to get city attorney Melissa Carls to come and talk to us just in case we have any new members to do a full introduction of um, the role of Parks Commission and a basic outline of policies and guidelines um, that we should be adhering to. So there will be an educational component to the next meeting as well. So any, any questions that I could help You're with? You're muted, Mike.
with someone trying to talk? My, Mike uh, looks like he's trying to talk. There we go. Okay. So, here you know. since, since we don't have a quorum today, should we consider a meeting next month instead of waiting for May? Um, let's see what the calendar holds. I I can do it on the 15th if people are available. I don't know. Are, are you guys interested in doing that? I don't know. Other than voting on, on the mayor's proposal, I'm not quite sure I would have anything else besides that on that day. So it would be a really short and sweet meeting, but... It's up to you. How soft? How soon does he need that vote? He needs it pretty quick, doesn't he? You know, he never alluded to like how quickly they were hoping to have that. So the Common Council always meets two, you know, every two weeks. So they're normally, they'll meet again. It would be basically a week and a half after the April 15th if we held that meeting. Mike, when you spoke, the last thing you said, we didn't hear it again. No, I had just said that we used to meet every month. So to me, you know, if we meet next month, I'm fine with that. Maybe skip May. We can't skip May because, wait, we can't skip May because that's elections and. Okay. I don't know. I was just. I mean, I'm totally fine. I think totally answer quicker. Yeah, I can do April. Okay. I have, I have no issues. Could you April? Could if you just come together and have a quick meeting. Sure. Yeah. Sorry. Um, you know what I can do is um, do what we did um, a few months ago. I'll quick send out a doodle poll and let everybody answer to see what date works best. Um, we'll see if we can get it on the 15th, but also I'll, I'll throw out maybe a couple other dates just to see what we can do to make sure that we have quorum. <laughs> um, so I'll send that out in the morning for everyone. Well, will everybody have, comfortable with it? Will everybody have time to swing down there and take a look at that area to, to look at where we could potentially put signs? If not, I could actually I was down there today. Um, I could probably stop down tomorrow and take a few pictures of that area and send everybody pictures if you want through email of a sure. couple of views of the area. I could do that. That would be nice. Try to decide. I, I know. I know there is. There are different a few different locations or ways to get down to that zigzag mm -hmm. path. So, yeah. I mean, you might just have to pick somewhere in the middle or, but mm -hmm. yeah, I can do that. I'll, uh, I'll go take a few snapshots of that area and a couple angles and can kind of see where, to, where I think we could put it, that that'd be the most visual. Perfect. Yeah, that sounds great. Thanks, Steve. And thanks, Mike, for recommending yep. that we meet um, in April. I think that sounds great. We can just know that it's going to be a short. Everybody log on, roll call, take a vote, short and sweet. <laughs> you know, and if, if you guys want to consider it too, we don't have to wait the full month. Just throwing that out there too. We could meet again this month. On th there would be nothing. I would love to wait until after April 6th, if that would be possible. Sure. Well, and actually, <laughs> actually if we met uh, later next month, too, we would have more information to be able to, to pass on about the uh, uh, schedule for the skate park and that. So, so that might be a good thing. Okay. Awesome. All right. This sounds like a great plan coming together. Yeah, it seems like actually, thanks for mentioning that, Ted. It sounds, uh, if, if May is going to be um, already a, an active meeting with the city attorney coming and with our, you know, officer elections and um, what was the other, there was another thing. Anyway, I was just thinking, you know, maybe 
we all now, the people in the room here have a month to think about ideas for that um, grand opening. And we could maybe just talk a little bit about the grand opening at that um, April meeting. And that would actually give everyone a little more time to like actually implement any ideas as opposed to waiting until May where it's like, ah, well, we've already got this half figured out or, you know, now we've got a last minute add details, what have you. Sure. <clears throat> All right. All right. Okay, well, Leah, do you wanna? I guess uh, any, if there's, if there's no opposition, I say let's uh, adjourn the meeting. All right. Thanks, everybody. Great. Right. Thank you. Bye. Take care. All right. Thanks. Bye. Nice seeing everyone. Yeah, you too. Bye.